Hey guys, welcome to Hoaxbox, the ultimate destination for urban legends, folklore, myths and hoaxes. The phenomenon of those large circles of flattened crops mysteriously appearing in fields goes back to the 1970s in southern England. Soon it spread all over the world, with crop circles reported as far away as Australia, America and Japan. Thousands of these crop circles were reported over the decades, gaining a massive following among UFO enthusiasts who worked tirelessly to try to decipher what was clearly messages from another world. After all, the perfect patterns could clearly not be replicated by, say, a couple of crazy people in their spare time. We are sure that the ufology community's faces were red when in 1991, pranksters Doug Bauer and Dave Charlie from England confessed to creating the original circles. They even demonstrated to journalists how they produced the perfect shapes by flattening them in the crops using planks and ropes and crude serving techniques. The confession was promoted when Bauer's wife noticed unexplained high mileage on his car and began to suspect him of having an affair, though Crack feels that after learning the truth that Bauer was actually going out at night with another man to flatten hectares of wheat, she may actually have wished that adultery was to blame. Bauer and Charlie found themselves widely ignored. After all, they didn't confess to doing all the crop circles, right? Maybe they just started the prank and then real aliens came and joined in. Feverish study of the circles continued unabated and M. Night Shyamalan even featured them in science more than a decade later. As with Fox Sisters and spiritualism, it goes beyond simply wanting to believe in invisible, transcendental beings. It's believing in such beings who also are wise communicators who care enough about us to want to reach out and are not particularly dangerous or even effective at what they do. These aliens aren't blowing up the White House or doing anything insane. They're sneaking into our fields at night and quietly stamping down our wheat. The little guys are almost shy, almost afraid of us. That's all hoax. Thanks for watching the video and subscribe to our channel, Hoaxbox.